Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a second since I've posted, but today I'm gonna be doing something a little different and show you how I refresh my wavy curly hair on days that I don't wash it. So I'm starting off by sectioning the top half of my hair and just putting it out of the way. One of the things that I was focusing on during this refresh was trying to add definition and a little bit more um, product to the back of my hair. The under pieces seem to get forgotten and yesterday when I washed my hair I did not section it and that was a mistake. So here we go, I'm starting on the back section and just wetting it down with water in a spray bottle. I want to get my hair wet enough that I can easily detangle it with my fingers. It's really funny to me watching the faces that I make when I record because I had no idea that I was doing that as I was recording, but I look very displeased with water spraying in my face, which is actually pretty accurate to how I am. I'm making sure that I get all of the back, including the pieces near my scalp, because that's usually where I lack definition the most, is the back underneath parts. Now I am taking the Weightless Air Dry Cream from Carl Smith, and this is basically a really light leave-in conditioner slash curl cream. I'm literally just using it the tiniest bit and I'm also buying it in my hand and then I'm using the praying hands and finger raking method to just gently detangle my hair, smooth down any frizz that I see. I really like this product because it adds a nice amount of slip, but once your hair is dry, you really don't feel it in your hair at all. Now I'm taking the um, Hydro Style Flexi Jelly from Curlsmith also. It's another really lightweight product and I'm just smoothing down those strands again really trying to make sure that this is evenly distributed through my hair. I really like using this one when my hair is pretty much soaking wet. I really like that it can help kind of form the clumps, but it doesn't feel sticky. Now I'm just grabbing a microfiber towel and I'm gonna scrunch out some of the excess water and some of maybe the excess product from this stage. I like to do this because I want to use a stronger hold product, but I like to use those on more damp hair rather than soaking wet. And I think that scrunching with the towel is a really good way to also accentuate those curl clumps because it kind of just really gets them in, gets them into shape, so to speak. Now I am taking the Supreme Hold Gel from Diva Curl. I'm just using a pretty small amount, honestly, because I've already added some product to my hair. I'm trying to really gently scrunch this in because I don't want to add frizz at this point. Then I'm taking a little bit of Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse and I am just going to be using the praying hands to gently distribute this over my hair while maintaining the clumps that I've already been forming. And then just scrunch this away. Mousse always looks like a lot when you're adding it on, but then as soon as you scrunch it, those bubbles just disappear. But I really, really like this mousse. When I take out the clip that's sectioning off the other side, you can really see the difference of how much looser my hair gets when it needs refreshed. Um, and you can see how it just springs back into those little waves as soon as I start adding water and product. It's pretty cool. And with the power of movie magic, the other side of my hair is now done. And we can move on to the top. I'm just sectioning off this back section with a little claw clip to keep it as separated as possible. I don't normally separate the top of my hair into two sections when I'm doing it, but for some reason today I did. Um, not super crazy about the specific results of that, but in general I do I do think it helped um, like spread the product through my hair. I just think that my part looks a little flat, but you can't have everything. I really like finger raking instead of brushing my hair on refresh days because I think it helps kind of maintain the clumps that already are going in my hair um, that I feel like kind of get more prominent the more that I refresh my hair. Like I think they get more settled in. So I like to keep those when possible, but finger raking allows me to still get that extra hair that's fallen out, anything that I've shed and um, helps smooth everything back down to an extent. Here you can see that I'm paying extra attention to kind of finger rake my hair away from my scalp. Normally I do the top of my hair upside down and that really helps with this, but so that I'm not, you know, forming any curl clumps that are being pulled down. I need all the help I can get to fight the gravity in this situation. I'm attempting to finger coil slash finger roll some of these pieces in the front section. 
Um, these are usually the pieces that kind of fall in my face, so I was trying to make sure that they had a little bit of something, something going on, but if you can't tell, I kind of have no idea what I'm doing with the finger rolling, so at the very least, though, I think it'll help me get some separation in those pieces. <laughs> Lol. All right, I think you get the gist of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of me actually styling my hair when it's wet, and I will see you when we start drying. I usually like to start by flipping my head around and trying to hover dry my roots as much as possible and the parts that are like behind my ears because those are usually the parts that when I'm done drying are still slightly damp. So I think also drying your roots first can kind of help with volume a little bit. Um, so yeah, I do this part upside down as best I can on low speed, warm heat. I try to flip my head around while I'm doing this so that my hair doesn't get stuck in one specific part. Then my main technique when it comes to drying my hair is just to turn off the air of the blow dryer, set like a good clump of my hair and kind of scrunch it up in the diffuser and then hold that in place for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so so that I can give it a good chance to dry without fidgeting. At this point, I remembered why I hate blow drying my hair and it's the noise. So I grab my noise canceling headphones, pop those bad boys in my ear holes. And it was an amazing experience from that point forward. But yeah, this part is kind of boring. I like to do it sitting down so that I can kind of entertain myself and I don't have to be bending my back over so far because I don't know, I see some people drying their hair upside down like the whole time and my back could never. My iPad, my iPod, my iPhone. It just started playing a random song because I accidentally hit the play button on the AirPods and it turned out to be a certified bop. I don't know if you've ever listened to Madlib, but he has some great ass music and this was off of his jazz covers album. All right, I think you get the gist of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna speed this up and I will see you when my hair's 100% dry. All right, so here is my results before I've scrunched it out or anything. So you can see my hair looks pretty, um, it definitely looks like I used mousse because everything is very stiff, which is honestly part of the reason why I like mousse because I think it helps my little waves kind of stay in better, but I definitely need to get in there, shake up my roots, make sure nothing's sticking to my scalp. And this kind of helps shake up the curl clumps too, give them a little bit more separation. And yeah, then I'm pretty much just gonna go through and scrunch. Flipping my head around and trying to feel for any pieces that are kind of stuck together that might need some help. Sometimes I will use a little bit of oil on my hands, but today I didn't. Um, I was really trying to see how much volume I could get and I didn't want to risk weighing it down. All right, so here I am just feeling myself in that golden hour sunlight. And I don't know, I just think my hair looks really shiny with these products. It feels light. It feels like there's definitely product in my hair, which I personally don't mind. I would rather have a little bit of texture and pieciness than have my hair feel like slippery and kind of out of control. So overall, pretty happy with this refresh. I think it met my goals of getting definition and volume. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, tips, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.